any fear you have, it's like, I jumped out of an airplane. I can do this. You apply that to education, you apply it to work, you apply it to anything in life that you do. Bottom line, I showed up and didn't know anybody. That's what was cool about it. I came by myself, was here two days, and I've got friends now that I would, I'll have for the rest of my life. I now have women from across the country who are asking me questions about, hey, when's the next jump? How do I get involved with this? Who do I call? I went to airborne school when I was in the Army, served with an airborne unit. And when I got out, I didn't have that. Um, so I went years and years without anything like that. Nobody really understands what it's like to jump out of a plane, do those kind of things. We're crazy. When RCPT came in, I was like, I want to do that. How do I do that? And Kevin invited me down, and I went through the jump school. And you know that first jump, they made sure they captured it, that first jump I had. It was what I showed to my kids all the time. And I, it's something that I, I never get tired of seeing. A year ago, I jumped out of an airplane. And the reason I came back was to teach the next one how to do it. My time as a veteran, my time on active duty, we've always been taught never leave anybody behind. And we're all a family, it's a unit. We're all, if one goes, we all go. Um, and I don't think that it would be fair and it would be very selfish of me not to pass this on. The team saved me. I don't know how else to say it. Um, they gave me another opportunity um, to give me that feeling again, to be part of something. Um, being here with the guys, being um, doing the events, that's, that's where I'm happy. I think the biggest thing when I, the first time I ever jumped out was, it's so loud in the plane and then you get out and your canopy goes up and all of a sudden it's nice and quiet and very peaceful and it's a very peaceful feeling and I think that's what drives that that brotherhood sisterhood that makes everybody bond together is the shared experience of jumping out of a plane. It has completely changed my life, you know, and I love I love it, breathe it and you know, it's like I almost I have two jobs that I love. One is team historian and the other one is here inside the classroom. And it's you're a lucky man in this world or woman if you get to sit there and do the do a job that you love. I don't consider what I do here work. I don't. I come to work every day and I love what I do. This organization is wonderful because it's a great group of people who want to get together and share that camaraderie again. It's the badass ones that do it. It's the ones who are selfless, not selfish, who do it. And, and it just builds onto the family. None of these men are selfish. None of these women who have come before me are selfish. And that's exactly why I came back, so that I can make sure that I pass on the same customs and traditions that they passed on to me. Just recently, uh, the SRO at my son's middle school was a drill instructor for the Marine Corps in Vietnam. And he came down and his face just lit up. He, it reminded him about what he left. And the smile, you, you can't fake that. You can't replace that. That's what this project is all about because if one kid goes out of here today and tells one veteran that, hey, you know, there's this group in Palaka that's doing this and they come to us, job done, mission completed. You know, that's what this is all about.